a universal direct payment. It means direct help for all, financial support sent to everyone. In other words, a check or direct deposit to every single person. And for people who don't need it, we can readjust next year at tax time. It is a more fair, a more simple, and a faster way to get support to everyone who needs it. Right now, we are facing a global health crisis, which has created an economic crisis, and we are doing everything we can to flatten the curve. Some people are able to work from home, but many people are out of work or have lost the majority of their work with bills piling up. Workers in almost every sector have been affected, and it means we need the government to get support out to people and small businesses quickly so we can weather this storm together. The federal government has put out a program, CERB, the Canada Emergency Response Benefit. This program has had millions of Canadians apply, and for those who are eligible, $2,000 will make a real difference. The difficulty is that about a third of people who need support aren't eligible. Just a few examples of people who aren't eligible. Take Susanna, who has three jobs. The majority of her income comes from her maintenance job. She also occasionally takes a few shifts serving at a brunch place and does 12 hours a week as an online personal assistant. Her maintenance contracts have disappeared. The restaurant she worked at has closed down, but she can still do 12 hours a week as a personal assistant. It's not enough to survive on, but it means she can't qualify for the CERB because she's still receiving some income. Similarly, Anna, who had four cleaning contracts that covered her costs, three of them were canceled, but one of them still needs her. If she quits, she isn't eligible, but one contract doesn't give her enough to cover her rent, never mind other necessities. And so many students and recent graduates have spoken out that they also are being left behind. For graduates who have been looking for work or students who were planning on looking for work but didn't make $5,000 last year, CERB doesn't cover them. I heard from Miranda last week, who is a single mom who was in full-time studies last year, so didn't make $5,000. She recently got a job, but she's now home because her childcare isn't available during the pandemic. Expanding the Canada Summer Jobs Program won't help Miranda, and she's worried about how she's going to pay for rent and food. I also spoke to a few people who are pregnant and they told me they're working but worried about exposing themselves uh, or people who have immunocompromised family members who they want to protect. They have heard that they won't be eligible if they quit their jobs unless they've gotten sick themselves or are caring for someone who's sick, but they don't want to put themselves or their loved ones at risk. Gary and Martha are seniors who didn't make $5,000 last year but they are seeing their cost of living rise with the need to get food delivered. They have to do more frequent pickups of prescriptions with extra charges, but they also are living on a fixed income and they don't have any extra support. Then there's Jeremy. Jeremy worked briefly for a startup that went under in December and he's been job hunting, but it can often take a few months to find the right job. But now that COVID-19 has hit, there's no new positions opening up in his field. He didn't lose his employment because of COVID-19, so he doesn't qualify for CERB. He has enough savings to get him through this month, but he doesn't know how he's going to afford his bills in May and June. But I think the worst part is that CERB doesn't cover the most marginalized. For example, Aya was homeless last year. After she aged out of care, she struggled for a few years, but she had just started getting back on her feet. She even applied for a few positions at retail stores around town, but now everything is closed and she is still without stable housing. Part-time caregivers are also currently ineligible, even though they are on the front lines of this crisis. Families are struggling. They are worried about how they're going to get through this and they are running out of time. They can't afford to wait for the program to be fixed. That's why a universal direct payment makes so much sense. $2,000 a month to everyone, sent out right away. And for people who are still fully employed and who don't need the support, we can readjust through our tax system in 2021. It is faster and simpler because CRA can send out the $2,000 right away without any applications, and it's easier than fixing the eligibility issues piece by piece. And it's way more fair than a patchwork system where so many people who need it aren't covered. The NDP is advocating for a universal direct payment. 
Let's make it happen.